Wow, this is Betsy's house. Hi, Carl. Oh, hi, Betsy. How are you Charlie, doing? Come on, and I'm doing fine. Oh, good, good. Oh, wow. And this is Brady. Hi, Brady. <laughs> Happy dog. So, I hear you have solar recently. Yes, actually, I've had it since last year. Oh, wow. I started the process in early July. Uh huh. And as you know, it's a lengthy process. So I had the initial interview and then a few weeks later, a site survey. And then I got scheduled for installation, which happened in early September. Oh, wow. And then it took until the end of the month to get all the approvals and the NSTAR meter replaced. So I turned it on on September 30th. Oh, wow. That's great. Maybe before we open the book, you can tell me something about how you made your decision with the the kind of contract that you went in with Solar City and then how you made that decision? Okay, well, initially I decided to go solar for two reasons. One is it really appeals to me the green aspect of it. And, and you know, saving the environment and that, that's that's a good one of the major factors. The other one of, is of course saving some money. So with Solar City, I signed up for what they call the PPA option, which is kind of pay as you go. So they charge me um, 13.1 cents per kilowatt hour for every kilowatt hour generated by the solar panels each month. And that can go up as much as 2.5% a year, but it might not go up that much. And I signed a 20-year contract. Right. So when you pay that 13.1 cents a kilowatt hour, you're not paying any distribution fees, right? For it. No, I made sure that it doesn't include all the extras you get with NSTAR. It's just that's the, the entire fee. Right. That's no other additional things like what NSTAR has. Right, right, on their they bill. They have supplier distribution. They have a bunch of other things that pay for rebates and things like that. And NSTAR is your utility, right? Yes. So let's look in your book here. So this is a book I, I put together for Solar City, and it has all the communication I had with them as the process went on, you know, when, which I just described to you. I understand that you've kept records for your electric bills and utility bills in general over the years yes. since you've been here before you went solar and you're still keeping them obviously. I do. I've kept a spreadsheet every month and I put all the different components of what we pay for which is distribution and I and so I just you know track the cost per kilowatt hour. So what was your average cost per kilowatt hour before you went solar do you know? No it varies all over the place because over the past since I moved in there has been a big fluctuation in the supplier charge. So about when you add your distribution and your generation charges, about what, like, say, the last couple of months? The what, last couple of months have been high. Um, Twenty. The last month. Um, when you add those together, it's twenty-seven cents per kilowatt hour. Twenty-seven cents per kilowatt hour. Yeah, because, uh, that's mainly because of an increase, a significant increase in the generation charge. In the generation charge, yeah. and the generation charge is really what you're, you're only being charged for with, for your solar panel. Uh, right. energy. So I have this other spreadsheet that shows what I'm saving by having Solar City. So you can see that I just basically have my savings was eleven dollars the first month. This latest month it was twenty five dollars. So that's that's pretty good. So because I typically only pay between fifty and sixty dollars a month in like with NSTAR. I, oh I, don't I see use a lot of electricity. You don't use a lot of electricity. So this okay. is like significant savings for me. So what is your general uh, before you went solar, what was your kilo average kilowatt hour use? It varies between high 200s and high 300s. It, it's the highest in the uh, summer when I run the room air conditioner. That's why Solar City claims that my system, which is a 3.06 kilowatt system, can generate all of my electricity over the course of the year. So I'll have to see because I haven't had it for a whole year. Right. I've had it during the part of the year when the sun shines the best. But you've had it during the winter. I had it during the winter. Of course, everybody lost due to the snow. We lost over a month. I lost all February and part of part of uh, March. I think I think my first time having it was uh, March 9th when the snow finally slid off. Yeah, so when you did your cost comparison, is it on a monthly basis? Yes. You're just comparing what you would have paid 
an N star for that month versus what yes. you en ended up paying in Yeah, the... that's what I'm exactly. Yeah. Okay, based yeah. on the usage 13.1 cents. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, but it's 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 also tricky because obviously the solar panels are generating more because they're giving you credits for later and so it's a that's a complicated analysis. Well, that's why I I was able to do it until now because and until now I also paid N star. Right. So now I'm in a quandary because now that I'm into the credit, you know, the NSTAR credit mode, I probably can't make that calculation unless I know what they would have charged me for kilowatt hour if I had to pay. Oh, you do. It's so, on your bill. It so will be on I your bill. So once I get that bill, I'll be, able to, I'll be able to, I haven't gotten one for yet for the, for the current month. And so I, once I get that, I'll be able to continue with my, my spreadsheet yes. savings. Yes, yes, they, they, they will do that for you. I yeah. know that because I have that. I experienced the same thing. So let me see what else you'd like to show me in your um, in, about your contract and tell me about the thought process that you went into. Uh, so you said it was because of your energy minded, energy minded, and 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 the the green you know the green aspect of it and saving CO two emissions and so forth and and of course saving money. But I'd say the green the green part was more important to me than the, than the money savings. Right. But it was very easy for you too, right? The whole process, in some sense, once you made that decision. Right. And once I made that decision, yes. And they, uh, you know, they came in, they did the work, they plowed through it. Yes. And um, they helped facilitate the, the contract with yes. NSTAR. Yes. So I'm very happy so far. And I'm happier now that summer is approaching and I'm going to get a lot more electricity generated. Great, yes. great, great. Let's see, what did Solar City present to you? What are the kinds of things that they presented to you before you went under contract with them? Mostly they presented the PPA option. They said p some people buy mm -hmm. and some people use the PPA. And that appeals to me because I didn't want to have any outlay now. I just wanted to pay as I went along. That's the reason that I took put that option. I didn't want to lay anything out now. And, and, um, and I'm happy I made that decision. Oh, great. So did they show you any charts or anything? Do you mean the system design? Yeah. yeah. Well, even before that. Um, before I don't the, have that in here, but they okay. did show that to me when, um, when, when they came and showed me what, how I could save money. Right. After they did the system design and they sent me that, they came and did the site examination, then I got the system design. Mm -hmm. It shows this. I have 12 panels, and each one generates 255 watts, so that's a 3.06 kilowatt system mm -hmm. and they estimate this is the annual production and they estimate that I can get 100% of my usage from um, Solar City, which based on your past uh, usage based, yeah based on my past usage which is not uh, it, not it, always an indicator but yeah yeah yeah, yeah but yeah. you you've been t keeping these records for you know eight years or whatever so you kind of have an idea yeah I do have an idea yeah so we'll, we'll um, see so, yeah, so for this, uh, how many panels did you say you have? For? 12 panels. So for 12 panels, the 3 kilowatt system is going to generate 3.7 megawatt hours of electricity per year. Yes, is what they say, yes. There's also part of the system design includes like what the panels look like on the roof, which is pretty cool. They really do a good job of keeping you informed. They emailed you your design, right? Yes, they emailed my design. And then, and then they needed to contact the, the city. So this is actually is, is the, the layout on my roof. It's a little hard to see because it's small. But it shows okay. the 12 panels here on my roof, the, the, the south-facing roof. And it shows where the, you know, the converter and inverter will, will be. A, on the sidewall. Wall. Yes. Okay. That's great. That's a lovely plan they sent you. Yes. All these boxes, this is the inverter. And then these boxes are related, this, 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 and this. And then this is the, the new NSTAR um, so-called solar electric meter, which now goes um, backwards. Runs, runs backwards, yes. yes. Let's In fact, see. my last reading was about a month ago, and it was 10.030, and now it's 9.44. So I am generating more than I'm using. For You're going time. backwards. That's excellent. Yeah. Yeah, mine has actually all, always been backwards, so once I started generating, which is nice. The inverter, which is there, is talking to some circuit breaker and, and stuff that's going to be talking to your regular AC system in your house. Yeah, the circuit breaker is just inside this wall in the garage. Right, right. right. But they chose to install all their components out here. Right. This must be exactly where your meter was before. The same, yeah, all they did was... Exactly, they just pulled this piece out and put a new one in. 
I wasn't here when they when they did it. Right. But, right. But that that whole box was there. They just they just uh, put in a new meter. So let's look at your Solar City inverter, your Solar Edge inverter, and you can tell me a little bit about how you what what kinds of data you get out of it. But with the sun, it's going to be hard to see, but there's a display right here, mm -hmm. and there's a little green button under here, and when you push this, it lights it up, and it cycles through different screens. This will show see. what's being generated. I can see that it's 2.56. Yeah. And it's showing it's showing that both my 12 panels are, are both are all working, and that shows the AC and the DC. 368 DC and then 244 AC. Some of the same information you can get from the online um, app, but there's a lot more available out here about what's going on. That's great. And that's great that you downloaded the manual so you can really get that information. Yeah, I was really curious about how it, how it worked. Well, that's great. Let's go look at the panels too while we're here. You can see those are the 12 panels on top of Betsy's house. They almost covered the entire roof. They're just they weren't wide enough to put an extra row, but that's really great that the, pretty much the entire south-facing roof is covered in panels. Well, isn't this nice? So you you went to mysolarcity.com yes. on the web, yes, and then and then you get this nice power guide which tells you your yearly uh, production and you get a lifetime production too, I guess, if you yes. if do that and you can it say shows each year, each year, right? Yeah. And then you can um, yeah. filter in to each of those by clicking right. on them. Yeah, so, so that's. I this a lot because I, 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 I update a spread. I have a spreadsheet that I put in the daily uh, generation, so I can see what's going on. That's very nice. Yeah. It's a nice. It's a nice interface. Yeah. So now we're taking a walk with Betsy and Brady around the neighborhood just to see who else has solar. Solar's popping up all over the place. It's on people's houses, it's on big box stores, you see solar farms over old landfills, you see solar farms out on the clover leaf of the highway, you see it on banks, you see it on big box stores, you see it on carports, you see it in parking lots. Everybody's going solar, and solar is popping up everywhere. Well, that was good of them to put on, and smart of them. That's the whole thing, right? Putting on solar is not only good, it's smart.